It's one of our favourite hospital cases. Is it Alice? Yes. Alice, Alice? Yes. Alice, Alice, Alice? Yes, it's Alice. Great! In Manchester, waiting with her mum and dad is five-year-old Alice, and it looks as though she's hurt her hooter. Ooh, that does look nasty. She fell over and uh, bashed her nose, so she's got a nasty little cut just along the side of her nose here. The witch came to catch me. The witch? What's all that about? Alice and her friend Colette were at school. So where was the witch? Unless you mean those dinner ladies. Maybe they're cooking up a spell. No, Zand. Colette was pretending to be a witch and was chasing Alice. <laughs> Run, Alice! Alice ran through the playground, trying to get away, but the witch was catching up fast. Oh, no! Alice ran faster and faster, and just as the witch was about to grab her, she tripped. Uh-oh! Alice went flying across the playground, landing face first. Ouch! Here's ear, nose and throat doctor Ricky Powell. Maybe he can cast a spell to mend that snout. What have you done? I fall over and hit my nose. Dr Ricky needs to take a closer look. There are lots of nooks and crannies in your nose that could be damaged if it takes a bash. The nostrils, the nasal passages and the bit down the middle called the septum that's made of bone and cartilage. Alice's cut hasn't reached the cartilage but it has sliced right through her nostril. Luckily, Dr. Ricky knows how to fix it. She needs to have that stitched in theatre, so put her to sleep under an anaesthetic, and then we'll just get the edges of the cut lined up and stitched together nicely. We'll be back later to see how Alice gets on. Ouch. The cut is quite deep, so Dr. Ricky has decided that Alice's nose needs to be stitched up. So it's time for her operation with surgeon Ian Bruce. Thanks to a general anaesthetic, Alice will be fast asleep and won't feel a thing. And to protect her face, her head is wrapped up like an Egyptian mummy. Any bleeding in the wound is stopped by something called cauterizing, where these tweezers use heat to seal off the blood vessels. Look away if you're squeamish, because we can see exactly how deep that cut has gone. And with a few stitches, she's all fixed up. All I've done is cleaned it up, so there's no dirt underneath the skin, and then I've stitched it back, trying to create the shape of the nose as it was before. And I'm really hopeful that in a few weeks to a couple of months' time, you won't be able to tell anything has happened. Great news, and a couple of hours later, Alice has woken up. The doctor's fixed my nose. But how does it feel, Alice? It feels nice. Oh, glad to hear it. Bye, Alice. Bye, bye, bye. Watch out for those witches. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>